Hi, this is Yosef Bilpartia, and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vancouver. And today we have with us once again Hilary Carter, SVP of Research and Communications at the Linux Foundation. Hilary, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you, Swap. It's great to be back. So, first of all, it's you know good to be talking to you in person, and there is no screen between us like previous. Though. So, first of all, that experience itself is a bit unique. And now I want to talk a bit about. Um, uh, today we are going to talk mostly about the sustainability initiative that is there you folks launched. Before we go into this specific initiative, I do want to understand when you talk about sustainability, what does it mean? Well, it means more than just climate um, and carbon. It, it's a holistic uh, concept. It's about uh, solving for a number of issues. And the best way that I think we can um, describe sustainability is to align ourselves with a with a widely recognized framework of what sustainability re really means. And that's been established by the United Nations. And so the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, I think, are a widely adopted and recognized framework for uh, enterprises, for governments, and for society at large to think about sustainability in holistic terms. And so uh, there are 17 sustainable development goals which identify um, urgent action items so that we can uh, achieve economic growth and global progress without leaving communities behind, without uh, costing, uh, without it being um, at the cost of, of the poor or uh, the marginalized or um, uh, animal life. Uh, so to think about planetary sustainability and not just economic uh, growth. That's really the objective of how uh, we think about sustainability at the Linux Foundation. We were talking about, you know, the, the UN's, you know, SDGs, uh, the goals, you know, sustainability goals. Talk a bit about what are the what are the gaps that are, you see that are there in open source uh, as far as, you know, those UN goals are concerned? I mentioned previously where we're very strong, industry, infrastructure and innovation. We're also really strong in areas around quality education, for example. Um, in two ways, not just through events and uh, training, uh, free, free training programs, uh, free research, case studies, and you know the, the knowledge uh, assets that we co-create, but in our um, efforts to sustain um, the, the internet and, and the web and enable access to all resources through the internet, through mobile technologies, and, and democratize learning through learning infrastructure. So two ways to look at education. So in those areas, we're really quite strong in open source. Where we did not have a lot of alignment with some of the goals was in the two goals specific to water. Clean water and sanitation did not line up um, as incredibly strong with many of our, our project communities. Uh, as well as life below water, our aquatic ecosystems. And this is somewhat alarming because the ocean is vital to our survival as a planet. 50% uh, of the oxygen that we breathe comes from the ocean, comes from the phytoplankton that live uh, on the ocean surface. And ocean life is under incredible threat from uh, chemical runoff, from rising ocean temperatures, plastic pollution, and overfishing. And if we do not uh, maintain the health of our oceans, um, if there is no blue, then there is no green. And so we, this is part of the holistic view of how we look at sustainability. We can offset carbon. We can reduce our energy consumption. We can create sustainable infrastructure. We can build sustainable st cities. We can create gender equality and good education, but we cannot forget the ocean. We cannot forget the source of 50% of one of our absolutely vital uh, sources of um, sustenance on earth, which is oxygen. Do you think ag stack will play any role there or no? That will be a totally different challenge that is still outside of the scope of whatever the next foundation is doing at the moment. It, that's an interesting question. I think AgStack will play a role because AgStack has um, uh, is standing out in terms of its ability to very accurately map um, boundaries uh, uh, and uh, field 
mapping work. That's specific at an ocean context to identifying marine protected areas. What are the square kilometers of a given ocean ecosystem or a reef that need to be protected? And how can we put an infrastructure like water-based drones and early warning systems and using technology to um, alert to poaching uh, and to overfishing in these areas. Um, so absolutely incredible opportunities to leverage technology to protect marine protected areas, to use uh, monitoring systems and environmental DNA to actually count the fish that we have. So I see a huge role for AgStack. When we look at from the from the scope of Linux Foundation, which of these goals are aligned with this specific industry that you cater to, or you're like, no, the, we our scope goes across all those seventeen goals. Yeah, it's a it, great question, Swap. What is fascinating is that we do um, sustain the Linux Foundation infrastructure to support the global digital economy through open source software, open hardware, open standards, and open data. And in this effort, we are driving forward industries, infrastructure, and innovation broadly. Um, and in that effort alone, just by way of our very mission, we are supporting SDG number nine which is industry, infrastructure, and innovation. All of our technical projects, because we provide infrastructure that is cost-effective, that is robust, that is uh, tried and true and, and widely available and accessible, we minimize duplication. We uh, um, create opportunities for innovation all around the world merely by making code bases available. I think back to the pandemic and uh, projects that were donated, um, I, pardon me, contributed to the Linux Foundation from organizations to help mitigate the effects of COVID-19 through COVID notification apps, uh, Green Shield in, in Ireland and COVID Shield, which came out of Canada. And in making those um, uh, tools available to other countries who didn't necessarily have the um, support of developers uh, dedicating their time and attention to working on them. By making those available, we were supporting good health uh, and well-being. So that's just, that is an example of how we can democratize uh, access to innovative tools that sustain economic growth without duplication. And so uh, that's incredibly rewarding. So right off the top, the work that we're doing lines up with the SDGs. What has been fascinating to uncover is there are certain projects at the Linux Foundation that were established with the objective of sustainability at its core as part of their pro the project's mission and vision. A couple of, of examples being LF Energy or Open Source Climate or AgStack Foundation, dedicated efforts um, to align software projects with sustainable goals in mind. Uh, carbon measurement, uh, uh, energy infrastructure that would help uh, utilities and uh, the energy sector broadly reach the climate goals, reach the uh, uh, very urgent uh, carbon emissions targets. So we knew about these projects. What we didn't realize was the extent to which other projects that were born from emerging technologies, I'll, I'll give you an example, blockchain for example, it came out of a need for a new monetary system, but found its way into applications and supply chains and uh, um, uh, data uh, transparency and the value that comes from shared data sets. However, these technologies have been applied in a sustainability context and in use cases that drive forward um, health and safety, that uh, allow for uh, greater levels of uh, poverty reduction and, and access to um, econ equal economic opportunities.
When we talk about you know sustainability, uh, a very good example as remember early days of Linux kernel when the ARM community came and those ARM processors are very small and they mostly work on you know mobile IoT devices. So they were looking for more energy efficiency and all those big guys Intel and we don't care about that. But when those code was merged, suddenly uh, the data center, which is running on Intel chips, they were saving so much money on electricity. The, the, also, the heat emission was also less. So sometimes there are, there are indirect impact. So software itself can play. I mean, uh, I was having a discussion a couple of days uh, or maybe yesterday was a lot of languages, the amount of computing resources they consume is less, which means you're generating less heat you are consuming less electricity. So when that code is running, and the, so if you look at the larger picture, so even these projects, of course, we can talk about ag stack, but we can talk about LF energy, but there are a lot of other ways we can do that. So if you look at the holistic picture, do you see that making software also more optimized help that? Oh, absolutely. And making better hardware as well. When we think about uh, consensus mechanisms, we think about, um, um, cloud computing and uh, to offset the the energy consumption through smarter, uh, more um, modern and, and uh, efficient technologies. Uh, the design, we're seeing excellent design work in networking technologies, in cloud. There was a great presentation uh, by Cara Delia in Amsterdam at KubeCon talking about uh, uh, measuring uh, cloud uh, energy consumption uh, and the importance of that in the ecosystem. I should also add, Swap, that there, the community thinks about a different kind of sustainability, which is equally important and does play in, but it's, a, it's about project sustainability and succession. And that is, uh, it's all about people and it's about education, it's about training and it's about codes of conduct and inclusivity. And how do we ensure that we have enough contributors to these essential infrastructure projects going forward. So it does mean a lot of things. It's not necessarily just environmental or planetary. It's about ensuring sustainable technologies. Do we have enough funding? Do we have enough resources? Do we have enough tools to make sure that the developer experience is optimized? When it comes to the, 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 the sustainability of a community, what efforts is Linux Foundation making to make that the, the community is diverse, inclusive, welcoming, you know, so talk about those initiatives. Well, two years ago, Swap, I co-authored a report on the state of diversity, equity, and inclusion in open source. And it was um, an eye-opening experience about uh, the extent to which we need to ensure that our communities are welcoming, that they are diverse, that we represent diversity of thought, diversity of region, diversity of gender. Uh, every element of diversity in our communities so that they can continue to grow, so that people know that there's a place for them in open source. And that is absolutely vital. And there are efforts, there are SIGs all across Linux Foundation project communities. So two questions we asked in our initial sustainability uh, research. The first focus on the technical stacks and how do the technologies themselves create um, uh, sustainable infrastructure and in what ways. The second question is, to what extent are community efforts leading other elements of sustainability, like gender equality, like inclusion initiatives, like um, reduced inequalities? And most projects have efforts in uh, or leaders who are taking a personal interest to advance uh, and measure their progress in this area. Uh, the, the Software Diversity and Developer Initiative is actively looking at um, launching new uh, research to measure which projects have implemented best practices to ensure sustainable uh, and welcoming and inclusive communities. What tactics did they deploy and how effective were they? What can we learn from those projects who made great gains in these areas? So we want to be able to support that initiative this year and uh, continue to amplify the efforts of those organizations, Academy Software Foundation, Phenos, uh, all of these working groups, uh, the, the efforts of uh, Linux Foundation events to create inclusive um, uh, event environments and uh, partnering with Chaos to earn uh, um, badges for uh, 
keeping diversity, equity, inclusion at the forefront of everything a project does. It's it's about so much more than code. And I do remember the Linux Foundation, if I remember uh, Open Source Summit before that Linux con, I used to bring my son who were like four or five years old and uh, we used to talk to Linux all the time. He showed a picture, hey, is that your son? So the thing, it was very welcoming community. Usually when you go to these corporate events, you know, no. And you folks also started childcare. So you can bring your family, you started, you know, the kids stay. So a lot of you know, several things, but the whole purpose is that you don't have to separate from your family to come to events like that. And these small, small things, you know, the quiet room, you know, even, you know, the, for moms, breastfeeding, and all, they, they also, these small, small things matter, but that also comes when you have the empathy towards the community. Otherwise, you know, these things will not happen. I would add uh, just to say how nice it has been to be here in Vancouver and to meet the children of some of our community members. Uh, and also at KubeCon, both in Detroit and Amsterdam, it was nice to see uh, young people and, and the children of some of our community leaders and get to know them and say, hey, it's great to see you again. And, and you know, we are responsible uh, as leaders in the community to to send the elevator back down and make everybody feel welcome um, and set that right tone so that those people have an enjoyable experience and see themselves in open source someday. Now I also want to talk the second part of the sustainability, which was commercialization. And you folks, you know, the membership, the vendors, which is also important. So can you also talk about the importance of uh, uh, you know, the commercial support because open source solves day one problem, day two is where the challenge starts. So when we look at sustainability, can you talk about the, the sustainability of projects? How do you ensure that those projects are sustainable? Because you folks have funds, but you can do only so much. Yeah, I think commercialization and the support that we receive from enterprises and from a government grants, if we look at what's just happened at OpenJS Foundation, uh, you know, a, a billion euros goes a long way to ensure sustainability in um, in our communities. It's absolutely crucial because we are a commons. Everything that we do is is freely available to the world, and so we suffer from not so much the tragedy of the commons, but free ridership. And it is a, a moral responsibility for those who have the means to contribute in the way that they can. Um, there is a moral obligation that is associated with the sustainable development goals. We cannot leave our poorest people behind as we make uh, economic gains, um, gains for some uh, in the long run. But they're not as meaningful if people are left behind. And so I am very grateful to those organizations who partner with us. I am grateful to those organizations who join us as members who fund our research, who allow us to do the privileged work that we do because it is so important. Uh, we're a, through resources, through government grants and through partnerships, we would not exist. And um, it's very rewarding when those organizations see value in joining us in our effort and being such longstanding partners. And I'm very committed to returning um, as much of value back to them uh, through insights, through data that can help them grow their businesses, that can help them uh, convince their boss about this is the economic value of the open source projects that you're, uh, that you're contributing to. Here's some others that you might want to get involved in and to spread that word and really add that value. Uh, but we would be nowhere without, uh, without our partners swap. Hilary, thank you so much for sitting down with me and talk about uh, not only UN sustainability goals, but also what Linux Foundation is going to kind of, you know, fill some of those gaps. And also a lot of, as we were talking, we realized there are a lot of projects that can actually already contribute. And, you know, there are some gaps that we can fill, but thanks for sharing, you know, the whole discussion of sustainability, which is not just about uh, planetary, it's not just about social, it's about economy, a lot of other things also. It's a very complicated topic, but I'm so happy that you discussed it. And as usual, I would love to have you on the show again. Thank you. Thank you, Swap. I really appreciate the opportunity um, to describe the work that we're doing and to uh, encourage people to get involved in different ways, whether there be uh, financial contributions or code contributions or, or knowledge contributions. Uh, it's all very much welcomed by us. Appreciate your uh, time today.